Welcome to this Linux channel and today we're going to have a quick tour of the Ubuntu 14.04 desktop environment. Now this is a series of videos to help you understand how to use Ubuntu Linux. This is for version 14.04 which is the latest LTS, that's long time support version and it is installed on a Toshiba Core i3 PC. It's the 64-bit version that you see here. So when you uh, go to the desktop, well, you get this uh, very simple purplish desktop with on the left side a dock, if we want to call it like that, um, and on the top you have the status bar with all the little icons. So if we start by looking at the status bar, at the top the status bar will have from uh, right to left. On the top right you have the uh, power and option button where you get um, about this computer, the Ubuntu helps, you get the system settings, you have the sessions so you can uh, lock or you know log out of your session or go into the guest session. You can suspend which is the equivalent of sleep for Windows users and you also have the shutdown button where you'll be able to shut down or restart your computer. Next to it you have clock and if you leave the mouse pointer on it you also have a full calendar for the month. Then you have, and you have the time and date settings. You have volume control. Now if you don't see your volume control, it could be because when you installed or if you're looking at Ubuntu, there could be a driver problem with the sound driver. Um, I've rarely seen a problem with sound, but it's not impossible. Then you have battery, which shows you the battery, if it's charging, if it's uh, on battery power to give you the percentage, the amount of time left. Uh, you also have show time in menu bar if you want to see the time left, percentage in menu bar, and you have the power settings. So if you want to change the power settings of your PC, uh, depending on what you want to uh, do, if you want to have a longer battery power and so on. Then you have the language of your keyboard and also the possibility to actually have um, add keyboards and keyboard layout charts and stuff like that. Then you have Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi which uh, shows your connection on the Wi-Fi network. In my case I am connected to my Wi-Fi network called Broken Computer 2. And uh, now this could also be uh, a little computer screen um, and that would mean that you are plugged in via the Ethernet port. Or it's possible that if you have just um, kind of a red X there or a red uh, icon that you have no internet connection uh, whatsoever. That is a little more common. I've seen some computers where Ubuntu did not have Wi-Fi drivers. Uh, for example, on my older Toshiba and also on a Dell computer that I've used, uh, I was unable to get Wi-Fi working. I always had to be connected via Ethernet. Uh, the little red icon here is not an icon that you guys will have since it's my screen recorder. Then you have also on the upper left the name of what you are doing. So for example now I'm on the desktop which means it says Ubuntu desktop but it will also give you the name of any apps or programs that you are running in the Linux environment. If we go on the left there you have the dock if you want to uh, call it the dock or the bar, the app bar if you want also. At the top the first icon is to search your computer for in, um, in online resources. It's a very powerful search option so it searches your comp both your computer and the internet for whatever you're looking for. So if you go here and you type Google, well it's gonna not only show you Google um, as any Google apps or programs you might have in your computer, but it's also going to give you um, some search results 
that are related to Google on the web. Um, you also have applications and pretty much everything that you would be searching for will show up here. So if you're looking for an app or something specific on your computer, this will show it. Second icon is files. Files is the basically if you come from the Windows world, um, if you use the file manager, well file is the equivalent of the file manager. It shows you your different file and folders. So you got desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, template, video, and uh, examples. So um, this is basically the entry point of all your different and important folders of your computer. You have, of course, a, a on the left side, a panel where you have all of these options. Uh, like in Windows and Mac, you can actually slide things around. So if you want to move a file, for example, from one place to the other, you can just slide it on the uh, folder itself or on the folder in the left side where you see places. You also have computer, which shows you more of the folders in the innards. It's a little bit like um, if you come from Windows, um, there was something called computer in Windows 7. Uh, on Windows 8, it's called this PC. Um, and in Windows XP, uh, they had another name for it, which I just don't remember anymore. <laughs> Uh, then you have network, so you can browse the network and see if you have other computers. For example, you see here that there are other computers on my network, uh, Gérard and Tech Guy MTL, that's there, which are net Windows networks. And you can connect to a server if you are using server in the work environment, for example. Then you have Firefox web browser, which is the standard web browser for pretty much every um, Linux distribution with you know variations but uh, in general it's pretty much Firefox and uh, works like Windows Firefox you just type the address of whatever you want and uh, it's gonna work number one and bring you that web page you also have included uh, LibreOffice which is a office suit which is compatible with the Microsoft Office suit so you have uh, Writer, which the, is the equivalent of Microsoft Word. You have Calc, which is the equivalent of Microsoft Excel. And you have Impress, which is the equivalent of the Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, it is compatible, so you can actually read and use the real Microsoft um, documents and modify them and save them. Um, so it is a very nice suit. Of course, like all uh, compatibility type software, this is not 100%. It's like a 98% thing. So in simple documents, in simple um, you know, formatting in pages and stuff like that, it will work fine. Where it might not work fine is when you are in a um, you know, very complex document with very complex formatting and style sheets and all sorts of things in uh, the document, then things might actually be a little strange when you look at them. But you know what, for most people, this is quite enough to view and also to make your own little documents. Uh, LibreOffice is available pretty much on all platforms, even in Windows. So uh, you can even use LibreOffice in Windows. Um, especially if you are in a multi-computer environment, um, I would probably say uh, install LibreOffice on Windows and here you have LibreOffice so you know that compatibility, compatibility will always be a top. Uh, these are very, very powerful tools. Uh, even though they are free and included here, they are very powerful Office tools. You have the Ubuntu Software Center, which is an app store. You know, the we are going into the world of app stores uh, with Windows 8 and the upcoming Windows 10. We now have the Microsoft Store, which is an app store. Uh, if you have a tablet, you know, Android or uh, an Apple tablet, an iPad, well, you know the uh, Google Play Store and the iOS Store. Well, you know, Ubuntu has its own store where you can actually click and check for apps of all sorts. 
there are categories on the left side you can search for something on the top uh, depending on what you want for software uh, there's a lot of stuff there um, it's far from being complete a lot of this the software here are free but there's a lot of paid software like pretty much every app store that we have so um, you know take a tour and uh, take a peek at that um, it is a very nice and easy to use store by default you have the Amazon app installed this is probably because Amazon for some reason paid a fee to um, you know have their store visible as a you know an icon in the uh, the dock here so um, Amazon if you are an Amazon customer that is nice then you have your system settings which is the equivalent in Windows of the control panel um, and um, here you'll have everything from you know the appearance the uh, everything's personal online accounts language support and so on to the hardware settings to system settings uh, very complete control panel where you will uh, play with pretty much every setting that you might want to play with in Ubuntu. Finally, you have uh, I have a YouTube I've installed it myself. By the way, when you go to um, a website, for example, I've got YouTube here, and the reason I got it is because when I went to YouTube page with Firefox, it actually told me, oh, you know, you would have a better experience if you installed the YouTube app, which it did, and then it gave me this app. All I said was yes, and it showed up there in my uh, little bar here. So it's pretty cool because it is really uh, basically creating a, a, a shortcut to whatever website. So, uh, you know, depending on where you go, it will actually ask you to add some apps to make it uh, make your life easier, basically, in Ubuntu. And uh, finally, that's my screen recorder. And at the bottom, you have the trash can. So when you uh, you know delete files, move to trash, everything is over here. So this is the uh, general tour of Ubuntu. Uh, so if you've installed it or if you're just trying it, uh, you know click the little the icons, go and you know make a general tour of everything. Um, and um, you know it, the best way if you want to really really play with Ubuntu. Uh, you can, of course, use the option to just try it from the USB key. What is fun about that is that you can actually tweak settings. And if you break something, you just, uh, you know, reboot the computer, reboot a new session on the uh, USB key try of Ubuntu, and it comes back to zero. Uh, it's a little more complicated if you do it when you've installed it. Like now, I've installed it on the hard drive. So if I change settings and screwed up something, I have to actually unscrew it because um, now these settings will be permanent on the install of Ubuntu. So uh, take a look and we'll show you, of course, more detailed uh, usage of the different options in Ubuntu in the coming days. So uh, if you want to learn how to use Ubuntu, um, why not take a look through our different tutorial videos. So thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe a problem, let us know. We'll try to help you if possible. And uh, hopefully you enjoy our channel. And welcome back to our Linux channel. Thanks for watching.